guys, I hope that uh, this video finds you all well because of this whole coronavirus thing going on. It's it's really not something to laugh at, but uh, it's just, it's kind of crazy. Um, we wanted to come on here to kind of talk to you guys about, you know, what's going on with us and around here. And hopefully you guys can let us know what's happening in your area. How, where you're from and what's yeah, going on. How it's all going down. Um, Currently here, it's really like put a halt to a lot of things. Like all of our thrift stores are closed. Uh, yard sales that I was planning on going to have been canceled. Uh, so essentially the only things that are open are like grocery, grocery stores. stores. Uh, bars and restaurants are allowed to be open for takeout, takeout. only. Yeah. You cannot go in, you cannot sit outside. Yep. The orders of the governor. Yeah, so it's I trying mean, to slow the spread is pretty much what they're a, trying to do. It's a right smart now. thing to do, I think. As much as it kind of, you know, incapacitates like daily life, I think in the long run it's going to help uh, with you know people not getting as infected as fast and stuff like that. Um, but so that's that's for us. We're PA. Yeah, we are in Pennsylvania. Uh, and there it's are order for what. 14 days? Two weeks, yeah, I believe. For now. For now, <laughs> unless it gets elongated. Um, there are quite a few cases in Pennsylvania. Um, none actually in our county or in our town or They're anything like to, that. Starting to surround the area yeah, a little bit, though. I think there's one in the county above Cumberland. us. Um, I don't know how many cases, but... Ugh, it's it scary. When I looked. Like at first, I was kind of like, "Oh, it might not be so bad," and then it's like, "Okay, it's gonna be bad." It's like, moving. yeah. So it's definitely a scary thing. So I hope you guys are all okay and you have, you know, everything that you need. And you know, we'll get we'll get through we'll get through it all. Yeah, um, I think our, our plan was to. We knew this was kind of coming. Something was gonna happen here. Yeah. Our plan was to like I actually took work <laughs> off to go to hit some thrift store. <laughs> Keep I actually took work off to try and hit some thrift stores this week, but they 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 got it right right a little too soon. Yeah, we had three church sales that were coming up this weekend, and we were gonna hit three thrift stores in the middle of the week, but yeah, I was uh, making, he shut it down on Monday. I was making frantic calls. I called the auction house to see if they would be open yesterday. They said no, they were gonna be closed for you know I think they said two weeks or you at know least. at least uh, then I was calling Salvation Army yesterday to just find out because I know the Goodwill had closed but I didn't yeah, know the Salvation right Army now it's did. like it's optional yeah strongly suggested strongly that non-essential close and it looks like most non-essential are deciding to do it, at least on the retail side of things yeah. I think the factories are kind of staying open but. yeah um, and then I I got in contact with the churches as well that were supposed to be having yard sales this week and obviously they're canceled too. So was it's, expected. yeah, like I was I was hanging on to a shred of hope that maybe something would be you know available, but then at the same time it's like well I probably really shouldn't be going going out it's either. It's best so. to stop at this point. Yeah. Luckily, on the good side. You've accumulated a lot of things from the heavy I thrifting did. and yard selling last year that still haven't been listed. Yeah, in the terms of eBay resellers, we, we, have, have, a we have things called a death pile. And essentially, like, if you don't know what a death pile is, that sounds horrible, but it's basically an accumulation of things that you have purchased because sourcing is more fun than listing. Come on, we all know that. So you kind of... Uh, Cherry picked what you wanted the list and the other yeah. stuff got pushed to the side so and it just keeps getting buried. I have, buried. I have so much stuff to list. Like it will keep me busy for way over two weeks. And luckily um, you're off for a little while. Yep. So, I mean, I got shoes, I got purses, I got so many Dooney and Burks coaches, like you name it, purse wise, I probably have it to list. It's kind of insane just how much stuff <laughs> I have to list. So, I mean, that's going to keep me busy and preoccupied through this. Now, as far as like sales go and stuff, I have I have eBay sales like every so often. It's not like a consistent thing right it's now. It's slowed a little bit, but it it's did. still happening. So yeah, so like you know, as long as they don't close down like the postal system or anything, I think we'll be we'll be okay um, in that aspect. Uh, surprisingly, though, my last two sales came from Washington State, which I know has a lot of cases right now. So I don't know if people are just you know. Stuck, in the, stuck in the house and just wanting to do like a little shopping to get a little bit of normalcy into their lives. Uh, but like me personally, like 
Um, I don't mind not going anywhere. I've kind of, I'm kind of like a, a homebody as it is. Like I'm perfectly fine watching Netflix or having my nose in a book. So like being stuck at home for me isn't a problem. Like I don't have a problem I have with to it. Work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we're working the grocery supply chain, so yeah, we're working yeah. a lot right now. Yep, it is it is crazy. We did go out to pick up some groceries. We got what we could essentially. There's just it's a we're shortage. Fine. It's a Stop. shortage of a lot of stuff, but um, it was wild to see the grocery store like that. Yeah, it was crazy. It's crazy. Like never, like never in our lifetime have we ever seen something like this before or had to deal with something like this so it's it's scary because it's not something you know we've ever had to go through but um i think given time i think things will be okay and i definitely feel like it's a good idea that they started doing this whole um you know d distancing thing and like telling places to like you know advise them to close and things like that that way it's not going to get hopefully not get out of hand as bad as it has in in other places like china and italy so i don't know i'm just crossing my fingers and hoping hoping for the best but i would just want you guys to stay safe as well and you know if you do have to go out you know obviously make sure you're you're sanitizing and stuff like that um yes got me yeah. side eye in the gas pump i don't <laughs> yeah. like touching those nozzles because everybody's hands are on those nozzles anytime Eric and I left the car to go in somewhere and come back into the car we were spraying our hands with hand sanitizer just to like make sure that you know nothing was gonna be coming into our home and everything like that so what's the downside to this downside to what corona or being stuck inside stuck inside the house we are not going to be posting quite as regularly yeah we just don't have the videos um, we, we were trying to get ahead a little bit, uh, but that, you know, they decided to close things before we really had a chance to go out and get some videos filmed ahead of time. I think we're okay with this, though. I do have... We um, have the Goodwill we haul have a Goodwill from Sunday's haul. video. I do have a haul of, um, when I went to the thrift store for, like, the dollar... Yeah, the dollar sale. I have it. It's kind of good. We've been sitting yeah. on that, I guess. I haven't posted that yet. See, that's something you guys can see. But I mean, if there's any suggestions, you have of videos that you'd like to see from me while I'm um, here. Um, just, just let don't. me know down in the comments. Maybe another Q and A video, some Shu Ching. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, some Shu Ching. Hopefully, a Shu Ching. <laughs> I mean, I got. A, I do have a couple of things now. Um, down on my my paper I keep tally of um, but yeah I'm kind of like trying to brainstorm just different videos that I could possibly do um, but I mean if you really need like a yard sale haul or thrift store haul fix and you want to watch like videos of me when I was like really young <laughs> I will I do have a link down in my description to my other YouTube channel that I you know I've been filming like yard sale hauls and thrift store hauls and stuff like that for years so I mean they're fun to look back on like I sometimes watch them as well like I'll look back and be like oh I was so young then and it's just it's yeah, funny if you're to watch to the channel there's a ton of like yes. uh, rummage sales and church yep. sales from last year on this channel yeah I think a lot of people don't realize that I do have videos on my other channel I think we started as well we started around this time you know what? Ah, I think yesterday was the one year anniversary I'm of this so channel, actually. I kind of forgot about that. So thank you guys for I was 11,000 in a year. That's pretty, yeah. that's pretty decent. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know, just I'm hoping this doesn't go on for like real long. Like I feel I'm, like I needed confetti for that. I'm, sca I'm scared that it's gonna like go into summer and it's gonna put a damper on like everyone's plans for like summer vacations and things like that. You know, we look forward to summer all year long when you live in like an area where you get winter. I felt like it was breaking early this yeah. year. Yeah. So. And it's like you look forward to summer all year because you're tired of winter and being cooped up inside and now, you know, that could put that could put a big damper on on summertime plans and stuff like that. So I'm hoping like everything gets under control and you know, we 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 start seeing a decrease in like cases and obviously deaths and stuff because it's scary. I'm trying not to be too freaked out by it, just you know, being 
careful about like you know what you're doing and things like that I'm trying not to like touch my face and you know washing hands all the time and you know everything like that but it is scary aren't you like slightly scared <laughs> With the people I, out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some people are a little getting a little wild. Yeah, I do feel like um some people aren't taking it as as seriously. Um, especially even like around here we saw a uh, uh a group of rebels. Yeah. <laughs> Who wanted to get a big gathering in the downtown square and they drink. Were, yeah, they were distancing themselves, but still... Making they, a mockery of the whole yeah, thing, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. And it's like things like that that's going to make it hard for, you know, when the first case pops up in our area. We'll you be know. the first ones running. Yeah, so it just makes it hard for everyone else when people are like that. But, yeah, that's basically... We just wanted to come on here and tell you guys what's what's going on yeah, and like we said at the beginning let us know where you're from what's going yeah, on in your area definitely it's keep probably us different state by state right now mm -hmm. so I some people some states aren't doing much of anything yeah yet. It's like, yeah wow. <laughs> yeah i'm i'm pretty like pleased with our our governor right now as far as like him making the decision to strong to suggestion but not forcing anything yet but it yeah. does seem like it makes me feel complying. it makes me feel you know slightly better um, about everything that they were kind of on the ball, I feel like, um, before things kind of would get too out of hand. But yeah, let us know how things are where you live, um, and stay safe. We're about and... to film a haul from Goodwill. We got some... <laughs> yeah, we got some some good stuff to show you guys. So um, look for that yeah. probably tomorrow. Tomorrow or Friday we'll post that. Might give it there too, to kind of spread things out a little bit. But we'll see you then. All right, bye.